So this is how the diffusers come to you. You get a couple of diffusers, a couple of the front plastic lenses. Uh, you get six of these pushing plastic rivets. You need two for each diffuser so there's a couple of spare. And then you get the reflective foil stickers which I'm going to show you how you actually attach these uh, to the inside of the diffusers. So firstly we'll move these out of the way and what I'd, uh, I've done, I've labelled them up one, two, four and we we'll start at number one which is the largest one and I'm going to uh, line the back edge up against the back edge of the diffuser. That's where I, I start. Now, taking uh, care when we're actually putting the reflective sticker in to get it central, so it's not across to one side or you, you're sort of short at the back. Get it up to up to that back as you guide and in the centre. Now the the stickers are cut larger than the insides of the diffuser which helps really when you come to put them in you've got a little bit of room uh, they overlap each other so it makes it easier for when you're actually putting the stickers in uh, we've got some trimming to do around the edges when the stickers are on because obviously they're a little bit larger than the insides of the diffuser so first of all Start by peeling the number one off. Find a way which is comfortable for you to hold it. It can be a little bit tricky because it is a, a sticker and it is going to stick to everything. So find a way that's comfortable and then come in. I'm going to try and do this uh, so you can see it. it how I would do it. So I think I'm about central there. Now at this stage only a little bit of pressure just to hold it so you can take your fingers out nicely. Now just let it fall down and then work from the middle out like this out to the edges. Only put in a little bit of pressure. I'm not forcing anything down at the moment because we don't want to trap any air. So just work your ways to the edges. Gentle pressure like this, as you can see, if I, if I just pushed it all the way down now it would probably trap some air in there and you get a lot of air bubbles. So this is the way where you, you will get the least amount of air bubbles. So just working it to the edges now. See if I can show you on the inside, in there, see this could be just gently And then as you're getting less and less air, air trapped, you can then start to put a little bit more pressure on. Like that. And then now I'm really starting to be a little bit firmer. Pushing in, you can hear the air there being squashed out. So that's pretty good. Still some little places where it could do with a bit smoothing out. Make sure we're nice and uh, good on the edges. Then I use a knife. You can use scissors. It depends what you're comfortable with. If you're happy with using a sharp knife then you just basically you just, just trim along the edge like that. So a little bit of trap there. Use your nail. Squash it out pretty good. And as you can see I didn't go right up to the very very edge because the diffuser is going to fit in there uh, and the reflection is not going to be so important there. So there's, there's number one fitted. Now number two is, is, is a lot harder than that one because we're going to try and line it up with this edge here. Now it's all oversized so it's not going to be a perfect, it's not a perfect match to this area here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is lay it on and just not go quite up to the edge 
I'm going to uh, just leave a little bit of space so it's actually going to be positioned around about there. See if I can show you that one. Uh, just roll the edge. Peel it up. It's going to be hard because normally I think I'd have it the other way around to try and show you. See if I can see if you can see that. Looks good. Just gently. Gently easy now. Being careful not to trap the air. Get your way to the edges. Really putting a bit of pressure in the corners now because you can see there is a little bit of air trapped. If you do get air trapped in the corner, you can either keep working it out with your finger like that, or another way is just to pop the bubble like that, and then it will actually allow it to be squeezed out. Make sure we're down good in, on the edge. Okay, now there's a little bit of overlap there, so use the scissors or just trim it off like that. That's pretty good. And we've got the two sides, so number three. So that's number three, now I'm going to line it up with this edge here, just so it's slightly over there. Once again, just take your finger off, gently. Work into the edges. Nice and tight. There we are. Now there's that hole there where the little pushing rivet's going to go. So I sort of push it down, see the mark, and then I get a knife and go half. Go the other half. There we are. Gone. Finally, number four. Same again. I'm going to hold it like that. Two fingers like that. I'm going to look it across that edge. See if we can get it in position so you can see as well. Okay, gently. Just gently working it out.
find that hole again. One half. The other one. Not quite gone all the way around. There we are. Clean that hole out. Now have a look on these edges. Just a little bit that wants to trim in there. Make sure it's nice and tight, stuck in well. And then just, just trim the excess off. There we go. So, and then basically just check it all, get any air bubbles out, make it nice and neat. So that's pretty good, yeah. Right, next then, uh, this is how you would attach the, these rivets. Now basically, they come to you when they're ready to be pushed in. And what happens is, when you, I'll show you on this one, when you push it in, it expands the end there, making it a lot bigger. And that's how it actually keeps the lens on. So I'll just pull that back again. So, just so if, you, if you're not sure, I'll show you. It would go in like that, push the rivet in, and then basically, Push it in. Same again. Push the rivet in. Like that. And there's your diffuser. Now it does come with a, a plastic protection film on. On here, which you would need to peel off. Uh, and then just remove that when you're ready. Uh, in the next step, I'll show you how to actually fit it onto the flash head. So, this is how I fit the diffuser to the flash head. I'm going to work uh, the diffuser into one side like that, and then into the next side, and then we're going to slide it over. So, there goes in one side, bring the other one up, there goes the other side, it's popped in there, and then we're going to bring this edge over here, so it just clips in. Clipped in, nice and tight. With the diffuser on, you still get great movement on the flash head, just like you do when there isn't a diffuser on. So you've not lost any movement at all there. It goes down flat. To remove the diffuser, if you need to take it off at any time, what you need to do is, we need to get your, this edge off, so I get my fingers under there. So just lift it off. So he's brought it back off again there. And then we're going to just take it out like that. And then the diffuser just pops back off again. So, that's the diffusers I make for the Canon MT24EX. Thank you for watching.